Shit fall on us, guys. Get it! Right here, he's in the past there! Just 
road, you should get some bad luck. Fighting the dust. Very in, behind that. Guys, we're getting fucked!
Anxious Nasi was for your return? I told her you went to get the maps so they would know where to go next. Did you find them? Great. Sit near the corner now and tell us more. Alright. Miller, over and out. You got them? Great job, Artyom. Great news. Artyom got the maps. Well done, Artyom. Idiot, get started with these. I'll join you later. Here. There's a lot Here of data. It. The sooner we analyze it, the better. We have the maps. Now we have to find a way out of this place. And that's the hard part. We need water for the Aurora and the crew. People are going down with dehydration already. It's only getting worse. We also need fuel. The local bandits have it all. I had already contacted their so-called Baron. But his terms proved to be... unacceptable. He'll told us where they get the water, but naturally, the well is guarded. The mirror recounts the place, and says we could infiltrate it stealthily. So, Martin, when you're ready, go rendezvous with the mirror. Your goal is to bring water to the Aurora. Failure is not an option. Good luck, Artyom. I... We are all counting on you. Crest, how's the weather? The storm seems to be over. I'll go back to the post. Perfect. Artyom, while you were out, I finished making one more thing for the Tihar. The workbench is at your service. Uh, so, did you try the new ammo out? Should work great for all this oil. I figure the Holy Flame would be pretty happy with them. Hmm? <laughs> what have you got, idiot? What can I say? We clearly didn't come here in vain. Got it all figured out? Sure seems so. The radiation levels are plotted in color. Ha! They even have the radiation level dynamics here! When is it from? Hmm... Yeah, a bit old. Well, let's hope the situation didn't deteriorate since then. Which maps have we got? Central Asia, Western Siberia, the Urals... The European part of the country? Aha, I see. No far east. Weird. I see two options here. Either the far east was out of the satellite center area.
There's nobody around. Who'd even go here and what for? Hey, where did you go? Hey, come on, bro!
Are you ready? How are the guys doing with no water? While you were away, I scouted it out a bit. Gil says lots of people used to live in these caves. Uh, there was basically a real town. But then the geysers opened up and they all had to flee. As you might suspect, we're approaching the spring through the back door. Let's go! <gasps> well, the bridges are burnt now. Let's climb a bit higher to get a better look around. The cave isn't going anywhere. Some noise! What's that? Huh? Ah, Shaitan! Stupid bats! Yeah, this place is totaled. When setting out, I kind of had hopes of finding something about my people, if not my relatives. But now I find out. And it hurts. Steady, steady. Aha! Uh -huh. Right at the entrance. Get ready, Artyom. Charge the torch, check the filters, and other gear. I have this feeling, a vaguely unnerving one. Well, to hell with the feelings. Here, let me give you a boost. Space left. here. Everything is built up.
Wow. That's all of them. Well, let's continue. For two. Now we cross the bridge and head right. Looks like we're almost out. Follow me! The passage to the spring! Let's go! Another cave in. My filter's almost done for. Look, light! Here. Well, the air seems all right. Masks off. follow every word the oilmen say, so let's try to do it quietly, without the unnecessary bloodshed. The slaves are innocent. Look, water. See that car? I'll move there and hide behind it. The gate is controlled from that tower. When you open it, I'll rush the car through and you leap atop the tank. Good luck, and try not to kill anyone but the oilmen.
like that's all of them. Artyom, you open the gate and I'll bring the car in. Yeah, so much for stealth. At least they got their just desserts. <laughs> Sir, Anna, to the left! Ah, ah. 
them all right, didn't we? Yes, we did. The thing is, their army is in a massive raid now. And this is just... the Baron sending his regards. How many of them are there? 700, I think. Whoa. Yeah, we locked out here. And we'd better not overstay our welcome. We won't get far burning twigs. Five clicks at best. The dogs have fuel. Lots of it. A full tanker carriage on the rails. If we open gate quietly, we can steal it. They shouldn't have many guards now. Can you guide our men? I can. Let's get to business then. Yermak, Crest, you prepare the Aurora. Finish filling the boiler with water and drain the car's tanks. Artyom, Damir, you get the most important part. Stealing that tank. Yes, sir. Good luck, gentlemen. Anna, idiot, Tokarev, we're breaking camp, people. <laughs> Maybe we could still negotiate with them.
Oh, you broke him. Finally. Get lost now, you cretins. Hey, wait a minute. Who the hell is this? Ah, one of the newcomers. <laughs> All right, you may go. We have something to talk about. We took a look around. The main gate is guarded by a skeleton crew. You cannot go through gate. Go through the prison cellar where the Munai by Lair keep the slaves. Uh, <laughs> yes. In any case, the plan is this. Gul and I will try to take their guards down quietly and get in through the gate. If quiet does not work out, we will at least distract them, while you get in through the underground. Let's go. We'll walk with you. Don't lag behind. I have a favor to ask. If possible, don't kill the slaves. They're not... They just obey. The Manai by Lair. Obey the Baron. They're afraid, that's all. place they're just kids and all have been under brainwashing for ages so we probably should take pity on them so a great well let's do this all right I'll raise it and you get through Woo! <laughs> 
Want to see the boss? Come on in. Don't waste boss time here. Did you expect a different reception? Alter <laughs> your weapon. Here we can talk without the masks. I trust everyone present. I find it weird they're not really bothered by your little mischief. Well, you see, this world is 
dice Hush, and kill the one. I'm just doing my best to introduce a little order into it. Without which there is no hope for something better in the future. And with no hope, you can't live. But let us cut to the chase. You definitely did not come here to enjoy the scenery. Ergo, you have a goal. And that goal is probably far from here. I respect people with their purpose in life. So, I am ready to provide you with fuel for your journey. I'm not asking for much in return. Surrender Gyul to me. Bring her to me, and we all win. I have Gyul, you will have your fuel. Everyone gets to live long and prosper. Now. Yul herself has come for you! You'll answer for everything! He locked it! From the other side! The coward! Do you think I'm a fool? You didn't want a deer! Now you will all die! Starting with you, Gyo! Kill them! Artyom, get ready. We must kill these dogs! This is for you, dirty worm! Ah, reloading! Fuck you! Tomorrow I kill your bed! Artyom! What's going on? You're, you're weak, and you value the weak, but the world lives by different rules. The strong ones always win. Our strength lies in our unity, our faith that keeps our flock together. It is through this faith that we protect them, direct them, from disappearing in this system. But you, Yul, you are leading our flock astray. They see you at the They see all the rebellion about you. The attraction of forbidden. It is an aura of problems nobody needs. Luckily, your death will be spelling. Why doesn't he speak anymore? Artyom, I'll go in before that dog runs away. I'll catch him and open the door for you. Hold on. Impressive. So, this is the plan Gyul was talking about. What the hell is going on there? Get out of here! I'll send people to cover your retreat! The door's giving! Let's give it a shove, Artyom! Yeah. 
My people hope. I'll never forget it. But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. Artyom, your dream led us here, but it won't help my people. This war is mine now, too. Go, Artyom. Follow your dream. I was so worried. Fanatics on the banks of Volga. Cannibals in the mountain bunker. Slavers on the shores of the dried out sea. How many monsters has the war given rise to? Or perhaps, were they always there? And the war simply gave them a chance to show themselves, and now we're stuck with them forever. Will Damir, who stayed in the desert to help Kyul lead their people to freedom, beat another monster? The inertia of thought, that had been keeping the subjugated locals in willing and ready servitude to tyrants? Frankly, I have doubts. That monster might prove stronger than all the others. Regardless, we can't afford to lose hope. We're getting ever closer to our dream. Finding a place where we could live, free from radiation and mutants. The maps we recovered in the desert have provided us with several promising options. And now the crew members are excitedly waiting for the Colonel's decision on where the Aurora should go next. Currently though, the train is calmly rolling eastward. The crew rests and Stepan proposed to Katya. It was a proposal she couldn't refuse. We've left those sands long ago, and it still persists. <clears throat> what does Crest even smoke? <laughs> it's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. I hate to interrupt, guys, but uh, you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll be there in a moment. Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of Dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too, and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better, would get kinda dreamy when drunk. You know how she used to call me, just A. She'd hug me and say, One day, A, eh, you and I are going to go to Vladivostok, the city I was born in. And from there, to a village on the ocean shore. I was five back then and didn't really get much. 
But I could imagine that village and the ocean so vividly because I believed her. And then she killed herself, drank some kind of poison. Father quit drinking after Mom's death. Did never pay much attention to me, but with her gone, he'd never leave me alone. Took me along everywhere. We only talked about her a couple of times, though. I used to have this doll, Jana. I played make-believe that she was my daughter, and we went to the ocean together. Then my father hid it, told me it got lost. He probably didn't want me to agonize over Mom's dream. Then I imagine she grew up and went to Vladivostok. And now I'm going. Not to Vladivostok, but with you. The dream came true. By the way, I was always intrigued by what Dad dreams about. He should have some dreams, but what are they? Higher rank? He could choose any. Saving people? What would the saved do next? Sit underground? I never understood him. What does he hope for in life? What makes him happy? Nothing, perhaps. He never really had any time to think about tomorrow. Down in the metro, those thoughts don't come casually. Here on the surface, though. I, for one, have something I want to do. I want to run through the sand barefoot. Build a sand castle for the kids. I'm imagining two. A boy and a girl. The boy would be a copy of you. We'd go swimming with mountains behind us. Wooden houses on the shore. The sun would wake us up every day, rising from the ocean. That harbor is our destination. Worth going there even if we have half the world to cross. Everyone should have a destination. A point on the map where they aspire to go, and where one could finally be happy. All our guys have their own. Duke used to have one. Damir, another. We broke out of the metro and are now starting to scatter. Not at once, of course. At first, we're all still running together, searching. But eventually, each of us will find a point like this and stay there. I don't know where my dad's destination is. Don't know where yours is either. But I know I love you a whole lot. Go, Artyom. I'll rest some more and join you later. What do you know? Everything is perfect, Artyom. Follow us. Attention, please. Half a year on the road, and 4,000 clicks behind us. 
We have been through a lot. Duke, Damir. All right, people. I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. After a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained, and much deliberation, we've found a place we could call our new home. <coughs> it is in River Valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. Yeah. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, congratulations, yeah. everyone! Yeah. 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 Yet, uh, this is not our last order of business for today. Stepan, Katya. Oh, Prince! Stepan, Katya, repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you to be my spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. And vow to for hold better, you from this day for forward. Worse, for better or for worse. For richer, for poorer. <laughs> for richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish to and until to cherish death, until death, death do us part. part. As the captain of this ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and Gorka! 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 What are you talking about, baby? In the Yamantau, when they dragged me away, that ghoul doctor said my lungs were falling apart. The gas I breathed in that ammo dump said How I don't can you have believe long. that monster? We've just been through a desert and all that sand, so that might be the reason. Katya, Arthur, a few words. This the old man is furious. Oh. Artyom's getting chewed out today. It's not Artyom's fault. I fell into that stupid bunker all by myself. If Dad says one more to him about it, I'll tear him a new Let us not panic and think constructively. So, Katya, what do you think? 
I think that trusting some degenerate's diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid metro into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for us. Yes, I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start had it My been thoughts gas. exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also, we're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could heal her. I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? Oh, Honor, I've done some blood. Oh my god. Do you really think it's the sand? Sounds more like TP to me. That's for sure. TP we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. What if... What if that degenerate was right, Katya? What do we do? Is there a medicine? There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drop. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Right, Novosibirsk. Yermak, your opinion? For Anna's sake, I'd go to the edges of the earth. As for Novosibirsk, it's about 2,000 clicks. Then it's decided. We head for the valley. If it is suitable, we settle there. If our estate worsens, I'll take a group of volunteers to find that drug. So Katya, please, find that name for us. I'll find it. Don't worry. One more thing, Artyom. I want no surprises in that valley. You are our most seasoned scout. So take the rail car, one volunteer, and go check everything out before we arrive. Let's go back for now. Tell Anna and the people to calm down. I can't say I've ever been religious, but right now I'm begging all gods, please, watch over Anna and make the valley cure her of her affliction. In the meantime, Alyosha and I are on a recon mission. We have no idea of what is waiting for us there. Though Alyosha seems convinced that there are going to be crowds of women eagerly anticipating his arrival. If that turns out to be the case, then I have the best companion possible for this mission. Yes, I must say, I'm rather partial to this valley. Take care for one. Makes your head swim. Never smelled air like this in my life. I bet if we spend a week there, it won't just cure Anna. It'll make Colonel grow his feet back. Dave, this is one bumpy ride. The rails are all bent. The whole track seems to be fixing to slide down. I sure hope it can hold our weight. Let's hail the Aurora and tell them to take the other road. Come in, Aurora. This is forward recon. Do you read? Over. Check it out quickly and call them over. Just take a look at all this beauty, huh? Don't you want them to see it sooner? Look at that church. Ah, shit. <laughs> 
Scott, your friend, but I can see your two are not bandits. I'll help you out if you don't do anything stupid. Gotta run now. Just stay out of sight and you'll be fine. Catch you later. <laughs> <laughs> 